Hey, what's going on guys? Pat Washett here, and here's another TF2 commentary, and this is a the, our third scrim in UGC Highlander Steel, and we're playing on uh, Viaduct Pro. And here I'm just me showing, you know, my life as a spy uh, throughout the game. I didn't show, I didn't want to show the whole game. Uh, it's not because I'm not saying I didn't have any mistakes, but it was just because I didn't think you guys want to watch the whole entire match for about 25, 30 minutes. So if you guys do want to watch my ent entire game, please let me know. I will be more than happy to post that for you. Um, so here I'm just trying to call it to my team on where everyone's at. I'm pretty much telling them that they're behind Blue House. I was originally trying to go for that demo man, but the heavy kind of died in the way, and so it just kind of went for him. So I guess this bicycle has its own mind, you know, of its own. But uh, yeah, so, you know, with, with Spy, I've been realizing that uh, on any map, it's very important to tell your teammates on what the other team is doing. Because there's no other class out there that, that can become invisible and actually go behind enemy lines without being caught most of the time. Uh, the reason why I prefer the spy scroll on this map is because of spy checking, like just right there. Uh, the pyro, if they do actually hit you with their flamethrower, uh, it just the spy scroll evaporates and you do not become on fire. So that means you can get out of the battle and try to find a good, hi a good hiding spot before your camouflage runs out. So uh, the best time as spy on Pro Viaduct Pro uh, to attack is either when they're distracted or, of, co of course, is when they're on the main point. Um, usually you would want to try to take them out before they actually capture the point, but uh, usually you want to get your opponents distracted. Uh, so you can just sneak up behind there, get one or maybe two pits, and then go away and hide. Um, and I didn't really go into many hide spots here. Um, the reason why is because I wanted to keep moving and see what the team's doing, and that's why I went to the blue spawn. And I noticed there was a heavy, that the, the combo was down below me, and uh, someone called me out, unfortunately, and the heavy turned around. I should have went for the medic and tried to get him, inst did, to get him instead, but unfortunately I wasn't, thinking I wasn't thinking correctly at the time. So now I'm just waiting to respawn, and Hydro is our demo, and he's just spamming over the corner, or over the left side because that's where I told him about the heavy, or the combo, is at. Um, so now I'm making up my side, up the right side, which is most likely going to be the least resistance, because the last time I saw the enemies, were they were on the left. Uh, so here, on Vida is a very good spot, is this little corner I'm camping in. And here, I, I got a really nice pick on the medic. Uh, he activated his crit streak, and then I, I killed him, pretty much. And... Um, when it comes to medic and crits, I prefer going for the medic first. Um, well, it depends. I mean, usually I like to go for the medic because it ends the crit streak and also healing. Uh, but, you know, in, in any case, uh, if you can't get the medic, go for the, the pocket. Uh, so they stop actually hurting your team and also maybe yourself. Um, here I'm trying to get a little higher advantage and trying to get a better idea of the playing field right now. I noticed the heavy's pushing up mid, and there's a dispenser back there, so I decide to just sap it and uh, try to help tap the point with my teammates. I noticed there was a blue spy behind the heavy. That was my fault. I should have uh, called it out sooner, but uh, I, I did injure the spy. I didn't do much damage, but uh, I got the spy out of the playing field. And I also tell my teammates that the spy likes to use the quote and dagger, or the invisible watch one too. Uh, so, um, here I'm back again. I'm pushing up right. I noticed the mini sentry and dispenser. I was thinking about sapping the dispenser, but I was like, well, the sniper is pushing up left and also the soldier. So I was lucky here with this engineer pick. I'm, again, I'm very surprised he didn't see me. Uh, so, again, I'm just going behind enemy lines. I'm telling my team what I see and where, which path is the least resistance. So I noticed the scout and sniper were tamping that dispenser, so I go ahead and I sap another dispenser so they can stop healing and also getting ammo. And we were lucky enough to get the tap and they weren't able to push hard enough in time before the time ran out, so we won that round. Uh, overall, we did a, a very good game. 
uh, our team won four to zip so I was very satisfied with it uh, I, I didn't I'm not saying I'm the best spy but uh, I did make some mistakes and uh, like for example I didn't go for the medic white as I mentioned before a couple minutes ago I didn't go for the medic rather than the heavy uh, so I'm gonna make sure that I'll be done for the heavy or the medic instead here I ignored the medic the reason why is because the heavy was preoccupied and the medic would Im immediately pulled out his needler uh, and just shot needles at me and then the heavy would have turned around and most likely kill me so instead I just went for the heavy I took that out and I wanted to get another shot at the medic which is what I'm trying to do here um, so I'm telling my team again that they're camping behind blue house I was unlucky with the medic pit there uh, I was really hoping for it uh, with that little edge I camped right there in front of the house uh, I, I was very lucky with that pyro he would have easily gotten me if uh, he was a little bit more cautious on spy checking uh, so I was just trying to defend the point with my team again the choke is the best place for spy most likely uh, because everyone's distracted the only thing you have to be careful of is spam so you have to worry about pyros you have to worry about demos and soldiers so it is a very risky spot but again if you are behind enemy lines and everyone everyone on the opposite team is facing towards your team you'll have a better shot at getting a pick you know so it just play it by ear uh, at first if you're not very good at spy which i started off as well as a bad spy um you might not really understand it you know you just have to have a lot of patience so here i'm trying to jump over and get onto the walkway uh, unfortunately I couldn't make it I still have to practice that jump there and here I'm just running around and I'm trying to get a good uh, advantage you know especially with jump stabs right here it's a great spot to jump and I'm just waiting for enemies to pass by because there's not many people defending the point you know there's a heavy pushing up we only have a mini sentry on the point which just got <laughs> blown up and we have a pyro and demo man on it so you know I'm just trying to play up as the backup role here um, I'm not very sure where the, the medic is at at the moment, but, you know, so far we're holding the point, and I want to keep it like that. So, here I try to go for that medic, he ran backwards, I failed here, <laughs> I failed here with that stab, I, I should have just cloaked and ran away. But, um, it, it was, you know, again, I'm, I'm learning from, from my mistakes, and again, everyone is not perfect. So, you know, so it just, you just have to realize that, okay, I did something wrong there, and I won't repeat that again, hopefully. Uh, another quick tip is, uh, if you notice, I like to change my disguises a lot. I was not doing that before, and now I realize the importance of it. And you just have to, you know, make sure that if someone spots you, or you think someone has spotted you, make sure to cloak if you can, unless you're using Dead Rainer. Make sure you try to change up your disguises as fast as possible. So, if they call, if you would say you weren't a demo man disguise, someone saw you most likely, uh, just go ahead and quote and change to whatever class you think is best. Um, just keep in mind, uh, you know, check out for the dead bodies uh, if if you have that enabled on your uh, game, because if there's a dead body of a scout in your disguise as scout, it might not. People might catch on to that very quickly. So. Here again, I'm just harassing behind the house. That's a really nice spot for them to camp and build up an uber charge. So again, I'm just harassing them. I'm trying to see what's going on and uh, try to tell my team again uh, what they're doing. So that's why you saw the soldier and everyone push. Uh, the match is pretty much because we only have 20 seconds left. We're trying to cap the point and play defensively. We don't want to extend our we don't want to extend our reach too far, and then we might lose the point. So, you know, we're just playing it safe, and uh, at the very end, we, we kind of push forward, as you, can tell, as you can tell by the kill feed, we kind of push forward a bit, and they push back as well, because they're about to lose the round. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much is it for here, and uh, I really do appreciate you guys watching, uh, I, I hope you guys maybe learned something, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and again, if you guys want to watch the, f the full entire match, please comment below and let me know. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys had a nice weekend, and I will see you guys next up probably later this week. So thanks for watching, and take it easy guys. Pat Washit, out.